I don't know much about this uh, this matchup in terms of uh, very good plays, but when we and my friend Matt play this, Falco loses pretty hard. <laughs> I think. Because I, I just I feel like I edge guard him. So, I think it's easy so for much. both characters in sort of different ways. Um, but Sheik will definitely choose Falco. Yeah. At every opportunity. Yo. Oh, sorry. And I am all about the cheese. Like, my whole play style is cheese. Yeah. At least when I use, like, characters that don't Fox. Even when I use Fox, it's, it's cheese. But it's Falco, though, you got to hold stage. You got to not do stupid stuff. Yeah, just don't. That's, that's what makes it hard for Sheik. I think Matt should be in chat with Soulless Man to talk about. He should be in chat. I'm going to snap him right now and tell him to get in the chat. Uh, he just told me I looked a little sluggish on my lap. Yo, that guy was so good. Yeah, that Falcon player was really good. I watched like a minute. You saw me getting smacked. I was like, what do I do? I was like, I'm so bad at this game. Okay, we're getting started. We're going to Battlefield, which I don't know if that's really the right call. She loves the stage. Yeah. Uh, although, what do they usually ban to then? Uh, Go, I guess he or Fountain is okay. I, don't know. I feel like Fountain's one of the Falco's best agents. I'm not sure how many people agree with me on that. Yeah. Ooh, I think yeah, I gotta go play. You can also go to Yoshi's too. Uh, Yoshi's. On I think you want to take over? I think I gotta go play. You know nothing about melee. Good luck, Chief. That's fine, that's fine. Alright, what's up? Introduce yourself. Oh, snap. What's the protocol? Oh, I can do it myself. Okay. It's my first tournament. Uh, you have I, know, I know nothing about melee. That's cool, that's cool. He definitely just hit him with something. That was an attack. Uh, he could have done another another needle tutorial on this DMB there. Yeah. Oh my god. So tell me, let's yeah. hear some, some jargon, some terminology. I'm sure you're. Uh, when you say you know nothing about melee, I don't know. Exactly which nothing. So you gotta ask me a question. Tell me something you're Alright, right now who <laughs> Okay, uh yeah. <laughs> okay, so we got Big Tasty, uh current like savior of NJ Melee. He organizes a lot of the tournaments. He's, he runs the bracket of these, he used to run Tasty Thursdays. And we have MPK, old PO, he used to run a house tournament at his house called Green Dragon House. Big Tasty yeah. is really good. I, I went against him today, yeah, and he put go? his PP in my butt. <laughs> was it tasty? Did you? It was. It, it was not only. It was not only tasty, but it was big. <laughs> ah, I see. I, I see That's where the name are. comes from. I want to see more, more needles in that in that exact situation. Because that gives you more time to get closer to the ledge. Okay, good back. Row. You grab the ledge, and when Falco up is there, and you're on the ledge, you have so much time to react. Put your move over there. Yeah. is working the lasers. Ooh, good punish, actually, but ends it kind of weird. What should what should Falco be doing in this situation? Um, so Falco just wants to not get gimped. That's like, he just needs to apply pressure without, like, sacrificing his stage control. Mm. And then when he gets ahead, he wants to milk it. It's where Sheik's hits are going to be super flowchart, like like strings of either just tech chases or like a few moves to get you off stage and then kill you. Falco's going to have to do a lot of mix-ups to more, more creative comboing with Sheik. Mm. Ooh, goes for the side B mid combo. Ooh, unfortunate SD. Falco, he'll probably ban FOD or Dreamland. That'll leave Sheik to pick. Okay, Sheik, Big Tasty to go back to Battlefield. This is where, this this is is where a lot of, Big this Tasty is, took me, and he just... Oh. Yeah, I mean, this is just a generally good Sheik stage. Yeah. And honestly, like, if he just cleaned up his edge guards a little bit, that game would have been very, very winnable. Oh, 
I know if he gets like one grab, it's pretty much over for Matt. I mean MPK. Yeah, you can call him Matt. I think most of us know that he's Matt. <laughs> I don't think I like that up there because Falco wasn't close enough to the ledge to really challenge him just up being straight there. Oh, okay, okay, works out this time. But after the first set of needles, I always I want to see another. I want to see him jump and throw needles down mm. just one time. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Yeah. The the problem with when you, you do the grounded needles, you have way more lag, so you don't have enough time to get to the ledge and do your edge guard. You have to do like some sort of gamble on the right angle usually. Is it possible to like do a needle to like? edge guard and then also grab the ledge in like one fell swoop? Uh, so, not really, but if you throw your needles in the air, you don't have any flag. So you get to get to ledge a lot. Is there like a way to adjust volume so I can hear you better? Uh, I don't know. You got fast, man. Check one. <laughs> this is really comfy, though. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Like, even if I'm not saying anything, I kind of feel, like, important just by wearing this. I agree. It feels nice. It feels nice. It's, like, really comfy around my ears. Okay, so. And, and had this been, like, a cold day, you know, I'd be really lucky. Because we'd be the ones with, like, the warm ears. You know? I always hate when I pull up to a tournament and I pull ears. <laughs> That's, That's why I wear hoodies all the time. <laughs> To prevent the cold ears. Yeah. Other people have like hand warmers, like nah man, it's all about the ears. Dude, look at Sheik. Look at her like whole setup with like the turban and whatever. So good. I bet her ears are so cozy. Yeah. Sheik has nice hair. I think Battlefield is like hot. I feel like it's hot. Honestly, probably because there's like this thing under it, yeah, like big holding it there. And if it has enough energy to suspend it there, like for God knows how long, it's got to be generating some kind of heat. And it probably seeps through the floor, like their feet are probably hot. Yeah. Not to mention, it looks like they're going through a black hole in the background. I mean, that's why when Zelda recovers, sometimes she takes off her turban. Hmm. I did not. Recovers, I did not sorry. know that. But yeah, well, she has to transform into Zelda. Oh, true. Yeah. Hey, this is. Man, this stage is too hot. I better take off this turban before I get back there. <laughs> The dress is nice because it's like, you know, it's it's airy underneath. It's like the kilts, uh -huh. whereas Sheik is wearing like latex or spandex. Or I don't know, latex, know. actually. Well, she's got like this thing like draped over her boobies. Yeah. And also, the boobies are bandaged down so that you can't tell she's a woman. True. Man, I remember when I was young, I would like pause and I would try to zoom in because I thought it'd be nice. But then you look at it from like the profile and Sheik has zero. She has like negative ass. I never looked at her ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, you you couldn't if you try it. I mean, you can't see something non-existent. Okay, but uh, but back to back, well, back to, the, to the match. We're on Yoshi's Story Game Three. Play oh, battle. Uh, I was gonna say back to that last stage. Do you think black holes are hot? Or they're probably really hot. Because I, I feel like they're either hot or they're cold, and either one, whichever one it is, it's like definitely a lot of that, right? They're definitely hot, I think. Mm. Just thinking conceptually about what a black hole is. Yeah. But at the same time, like, you'd expect it to, like, I don't know, just like the way how it, it, like, sucks in light. What if it does something similar to heat? What if it, like, I'm not really even sure what I'm asking right now. But do you kind of feel that? Yeah, sort of. Yeah. So who who is this stage good for right now? Uh, so this is uh, FPK's counter pick. Oh, that sucks a lot, actually. Okay, homie stock, homie stock. This is oh, still good. Nice. So, uh, this is like sort of stereotypically a good Falco stage, just because in the close quarters, Falco likes to do lots of moves. And also, his, he's really fast at moving around the platforms. 
Uh, but also, Sheik is pretty good here. His removes are really big, too. Yeah. So, I either player can... Like, either character can like the stage in this matchup, I think. Okay, we got the grab. Let's see how far he takes it. That's one, that's two. Three, good, good grab Wait, in second place. are these people here? Can they, like, hear what we're saying? Oh, yeah, totally. Oh, wow. This is a pretty big lead for Epic Kid, though. You gotta get some gimps to bring this back. That yeah, should be a dead bird. Yeah. Dead bird. <laughs> the down tilt pushed him just barely too far for him to shield grab it. Remind me what your name was again. I'm Bambi. Bambi. Yeah. Bambi. Oh, we got the grab. We got the nair. Grab ledge. Okay, that does it. So now, this is way scary. <gasps> oh, oh, no. I think it was too scary. Yeah. I was going to say scarier for Falco. So now he's <laughs> one hit away from dying. Oof. 